Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 12th graders 2002, problem number 3. We wish to compute the following limit. Limit as n goes to infinity of the integral from 0 to b times natural log of 1 plus x plus x squared and so on plus x to the power n minus 1 dx, where b is a number between 0 and 1. So, it's a rather simple problem, and here are my hints. Maybe not simple. It's simple if you use the monotone convergence theorem. But first, consider separately cases where b is from 0 to 1, but not equal 1, and when b equals 1. Or view b equals 1 as a limiting case. And use the monotone convergence, convergence theorem. So consider the sequence of these functions right here. Show that it is increasing and apply the monotone convergence convergence theorem. And use the well-known formula for the sum of geometric progression and integrate. Along the way you should get integral of this function integrated by parts. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so let's maybe start with saying that if or for any, maybe let's start with that, for any, for any x between 0, 0 and 1, we have the following, of course natural log of 1 is less than natural log of 1 plus x, it's less than natural log of 1 plus x plus x squared, and so on. We have a um, sequence of functions, an um, increasing sequence of functions for any argument. So we can directly apply the monotone convergence theorem. By the monotone convergence theorem uh, for any b between 0 and 1 we have we have what? Uh, limit we can just take this limit and put it out inside our integral We can put this limit inside. Alright, but what happens when we put this limit inside? Well, notice that natural log is of course a continuous function, so it's just the natural log of limit. Natural log of limit by continuity. And now, since our arguments are between 0 and 1, this thing right here is just natural log of 1 over 1 minus x dx. Alright, alright. Maybe, you know what, let's put it maybe a bit to the left. Alright, so now we have to integrate this function, and maybe let's start with indefinite integral with indefinite integral, so integral of natural log of 1, 1 minus x dx. Notice that it is the same as minus integral natural log of 1 minus x dx, and I will differentiate, integrate it by parts. So my part which will be differentiated is natural log of 1 minus x, the new prime equals 1 over 1 minus x mm -mm. and also minus 1. Is it right? Uh, yes, it is, of course. And part which will be uh, uh, integrated 
will be one. Notice that uh, it's derivative derivative of x minus one. So by integrating by parts, it's this times that. So it's minus x minus one natural log of one minus x. And now let's manage the minuses. Here we have one minus, here we have a second minus, and here we will have a third minus. So it will be minus the integral of uh, x minus one over one minus x dx. All right. Now we can put one minus x right here, natural log of one minus x. And here we are integrating just dx. And I will change the sign because here we have x minus one and here we have one minus x. So it's one minus x natural log of one minus x plus x plus any constant. All right. So what about our integral? Now we will consider two cases. So first let that b be between zero and one. Then our integral then our integral right here equals well let's take a look if we plug in uh, b we will have 1 minus b natural log of 1 minus b plus b and if i plug in 0 uh, natural log of 1 is 0 and this disappears and constants disappear as well all right, and what about b equals one? Well, let now b be equal one. Then uh, the integral from zero to one of natural log of one minus x dx. Well, what is that? b is one. And right here, we have to take a limit plus the limit as b goes to 1 from the left hand side of 1 minus b not for a log of 1 minus b now how can we find uh, this right here this limit well probably the simplest way is to apply the L'Hopital's rule because notice that this part right here this goes to 0 and this goes to minus infinity so we are unable to say what the limit is just now, but we can do the following trick. We can write uh, it in the following way. It's natural log of one minus B over one over one minus B. Classical trick. Now the L'Hopital's rule. It's one plus the limit as B goes to one from the left hand side. The derivative of natural log is minus 1, 1 minus b, and the derivative in the denominator is uh, 1, 1 minus b squared. Yes, it is. So it is 1 plus the limit as b goes to 1 from the left hand side uh, of what exactly? Of minus. Oh, you know what, we can put this minus outside, which of 1 minus b, 1 minus b, so it's 1. And maybe let's write it here, I have used by the L'Hopital's rule. So it's 1 in this case. So here we have our answer, maybe let's rewrite it limit as n goes to infinity integral from 0 to b natural log of 1 plus x plus x squared and so on plus x to the power n minus 1 the x it equals uh, 1 if b equals 1 and it equals 
it equals b go back uh b plus one minus b natural log of one minus b also make it small i want it to be visible And that is our answer, and this closes our problem. So this problem was quite manageable by using uh, the monotone convergence theorem. Without this powerful fact, this problem would be harder, probably. But it is what it is. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.